In terms of how we were talking about Sky High opening doors before, I was wondering, did the fact that Kurt Russell is in both movies have anything to do with, you know, connecting the dots from Sky High to Death Proof? I, I, I wish that would, be a, that would be a cool story, but I don't think so. I don't think Kurt Russell knew that I was doing the movie until, you know, we were at the read through and I was like, I don't know if you remember me, but I was in Sky High with you. And he was like, you're so sweet and, and lovely. And of course was like, yeah, I remember you. Um, but no, I think I was just very lucky that, you know, when Tarantino liked my audition and that was that. But and I was also very lucky, lucky to get to work with Kurt Russell twice because he's amazing. You ever think about what might have happened to that character after the events of that film? That's one of those things in retrospect yeah. that you kind of go, huh. I remember feeling it was weird at the time, but it was also sort of like, nah, I don't know. Um, and now looking back at it, it's like, yeah, that was pretty messed up of your friends to leave you with some random creepy dude. Um, that's not okay. Uh, so I certainly don't think they're good friends anymore <laughs> for her. So I'm not sure that they're her friends really at all. I think maybe she thought they were her friends, but she was really more like the butt of the joke. Um, but those are all things that change in <laughs> over time <laughs> with a little hindsight.